Uh, back again. Da, 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 da. Dilating. I created this fabulous thing. Now I'm just gonna complete it. Uh, this is the bottom edge. And I've decided this subwoofer is gonna lie flat like that. There'll be a shelf on this section, on this edge. There'll be a shelf like that on top of this. And then probably another shelf. So this section will have two shelves. And here there's gonna be a hanger. So clothes will just hang around like that and that's that. <laughs> so this is the bed support for Max. I'm putting two planks because you never know. Maybe he's gonna be a fat Max, like Stanley. <laughs> Just gonna drill the hole here. Uh, I don't have screws that are short enough, so I'm using the giant ones, but I can just cut them. Two holes here. Put two big screws here. Might have to bring the impact drill for this stuff. Alright, that's done. I'm pretty sure I can sit on this right now. Now a couple of screws here on the down, on the low, low. Now with these, I've connected them. Lucky for me, the hose actually fits on the actual connection, so I don't need this pipe. All I will need is one of these hose clamps to put here, but I need three for the gas, so that's gone. So yesterday it was kind of dark, couldn't show you these properly, so I made I made these these walls for these boxes. Uh, now after I finish this bed platform slash kind of thing, I'll finally. I can't believe I'm saying this. But I can finally one test the water installation and two put the fucking laminated floor once and for all because I have this line now I have everything probably I'll test I'll test the water first I'm gonna use a bucket because I don't have the water drum yet put some no more nails in. There it is, the little fucker's bed, his platform. That's that, this is the cupboard. Nice. Uh, this space here is nice because I, I can have the pipe for the clothes here. And then you can put them in here using this space. It's 80 centimeters so they'll come all the way down, but that's fine. It's all right. Now for testing purposes, if it holds me, and it does, no problem. It means there's no problem. Ding. Now the door for this side, I don't have it. I do have this door. It used to be a door for a wardrobe. I'm thinking to cut this and use this but it's too it's too narrow and also it's it's hollow so if I cut it look this is hollow right here so if I cut it I don't know how to make it not hollow so this is the dresser, this is one of my t-shirts, surprisingly it's not all the way to the bottom, this is perfect, and you can put a lot of clothes in here if you put them on a hanger. So there's the lid for this section, I forgot about rounding the corner like a twat, and now 
I drilled holes already, so... But, what do you know? And by the looks of things, this is my first shelf, so I don't waste all this material. So this is the door, click, I need to find that lock, lock bit, that's the door here. For the sub, I have these two vents, that one is gonna go here to pull the fridge, I was thinking to put both of them but nah, just one is enough, and one is gonna go here for the sub opening. This is the locking thingy. So, and now, yeah, man. Sweet. There's the hole down for the sub. I use this circular saw, and then with the pendular, I've continued it. Now this sub might be a bit overrated or a bit ignored for what it is. It's a Bose Acoustimus third generation, if I'm not mistaken. It's a really nice sub. It produces some deep bass. I have the fourth generation, I think, in my living room with a pair of Bose 301s, which are really nice. They sound really nice. And this, I've tested it. It's quite impressive for its size and everything and for a caravan it's uh, more than enough today is the day the day when I install the sound system so one speaker there one speaker there I have these cubes that twist they're really nice I'm thinking to put them like landscape, so one is gonna be like that, and the other one can twist down, so we can hear it if we're on the caravan, like if we're chilling on the, the sofa. I don't know if to leave these speakers or... I have another pair, but they're bigger than these. I kind of like these because they're smaller. And because I'm the master of procrastination, I'm procrastinating doing the cool stuff. Don't ask me why. Uh, to put, I've finished extending this gas hose. So technically now, I can test the hope, not this, because the electrics are not done yet for the pumps. But I can test this one. Just in case, I'm gonna open a lot of windows. In case shit happens, you know. And then after I see it working, I'm gonna close the windows to see if there's any smell. So, here it is. Moment of truth. Alright. No smells. That's fine. No smells. I see this. Whoa. It seems like it's working. Moment of truth.
Haha, <laughs> bitch. Flow's kind of weird. I think I need to clean them. Yeah, definitely they need to clean. <laughs> Tell you what, with heating now, life's good, man. I can spend days working on this. That's <laughs> sweet. With this grill on, it heats the place in minutes. Look. <laughs> nice. Uh, I've put crimpers on these connectors because I want to make it pro and I had some that I never used it's better than bare wire uh, it's going like that the bracket is going here I think I'll leave it. I'll leave it like. I don't even know how. Like that's gonna go in the ground. Makes no sense. Maybe like that. Yeah, for now. There's the first picker. Hey! This one twists, you know, and you can make like a surround so it goes. I like this about balls. Alright, so this first speaker is in. Man, it's so warm in here. I need to take my jacket off. What? This is the life. Shit. I'm loving this thing. I have to drill some holes here. Bam, 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 bam. So I can run the wire to somewhere here. This is the process of running wires. My favorite thing to do on a job. But actually here is it's quite nice. Because I'm doing it by myself. It's going to be sweet to have this caravan running. I can't believe it, today is the day when I'm connecting the solar panels and everything. It's like Christmas today. This thing, which is rather huge, can be here, so that means I can cut. Mm. Alright, so it's decided the box is here. The wires will go this way and that way back in. So I've run the wire nicely. I'm gonna get a cable trunk in here. I've run the wire nicely through this and uh, it goes down there behind the battery and in here. Connect it to the Acoustimus passive. Outputs to cube speakers. This is the right hand side, the left hand side is that one. So I'll run that wire connected and then probably head off to Selco to get a nice cable trunk in. Ta -ta -ra -ta -ra -ta -ra. <laughs> Let the fun begin, bitches. Right, I think this should be somewhere here like in here because then here I can have some plugs or some switches I have this switch bay yeah let's see I've got this nice switch bay with a 12 volt meter and so it's got 12 volts it's got two USBs which is great you want to charge your phone and shit like that when you sleep, bang, you put it here. Okay. Fucking pen that doesn't work. So there's half the hole done. Now. So 
people don't rob me. Sweet. Sweet. I'm thinking to put a piece of wood down here and just bolt this thing in. One plank here. Find a plank. Here's said plank. Although this caravan will have a GPS tracker and an alarm, hidden GPS tracker and an alarm. So, uh, yeah, just try it, motherfuckers. I've decided to have a GPS tracker and an alarm because I've heard stories of people actually stealing vans and caravans and that's crazy just behave man <laughs> this is an historic moment click that's it motherfuckers so wait I'm gonna have to measure these because if these are the if these are commuters that's main and then open close but that's minus and that's plus this makes no sense so this is the hole necessary for this apparatus and cut there it is it's done let's see if it fits Typical, this is right where the screw should it is. So that's it. Looks pretty nice. I think that's a bit off. Mm. It's kind of annoying really. This is so cool. So it tells you the voltage. And this gone when you turn it on. That's so cool. So what I'm gonna do is, because initially uh, this was designed to have the power continuously on these, which I don't like, I'm gonna cut, I'll cut this plus from here, the minus still stays, stays the same, and this plus is gonna be, so I'm cutting this wire also, this one here, and instead of that, it's gonna go through this fuse in there and then that's gonna connect so the USB socket will be this this and this I'm doing this because probably this voltage reading is gonna be annoying at night especially with the blue so I wanna turn it off and ideally I want when this caravan is not doing anything I want it to be off completely Way goes the best thing since sliced bread and the wheel and cable ties. Uh, these things should be praised in the book of the most useful things ever invented by humans. There's some hissing noise, but I'm definitely 100% sure there's not, not the gas. So for crimping this wire, I bought this crimping set. Really giant set. Here. 4 to 6 millimeters. Uh, I need to change the head to a bigger one obviously this is small not this it's quite sick this uh, plier this is small also it's like a DSLR plier where you can just change the head and crimp whatever whatever you want it's a sick plier 
It even came with a screwdriver to change the head. A and B. This is A goes here. And B goes here. Put the wire in here and start pressing, but kind of have to be Hulk to do this. Shoot, bro. Okay, let's uh, try it. Ah. Yeah, it does work if you step on it. So this is the wire, it's crimped, it took a lot of force and my vice slipped while crimping it. Luckily I only have to do this four times. Heat shrink, I don't have red, I've got black, but I'll heat shrink it and then connect it to the battery, no, connect it last to the battery, connect it first to the circuit breakers. So I've got three circuit breakers and they all connect to the same, to the plus. So the inverter is in. <laughs> this would be the cable that goes to the inverter. So I'm gonna cut it like that. And hopefully, yeah, there's enough cable for me from the battery to back to the fuse panel. Again, measure one more time. That's gonna be like so here. Chop it. Oh, fucking hell. Man, I need a bigger cutter. This is crazy. This is crazy times two. Okay, this one, and now we need to to terminate it. Terminate this, terminate that one. Heat shrink it, so it's done. Take this out of here for now, and then I need to make some patch leads. Input, input, input. I should put this to the back side a little bit. Okay. That's the fuses. Bang, bang, bang. So, inverter 16 amp for this and 13 amp, 30 amp for 60 amp for this, 30 amp for for the solar charging. I can't wait to turn on the music in this van. Da -da -da. Okay. So by the time you finish with the wire, it needs to look like this. Proper strong and insulated. If it doesn't look like this, you gotta go and make your wire look like this. Presented and produced by Chloe Hajimatheou, and you can hear the next episode at the same time on Monday lunchtime. Or you can download the whole series on BBC Sounds. Also on Monday, a great excuse to slow things down for a bit. Have you ever stared at a piece of art? And the more you look, the more you see. So from one length of this, I don't know how much it is. I'm making three. I think three of these puppies right now I'm connecting this for the first time sometimes they do a spark like a big spark so uh, if that happens 
Um, I'm gonna see it now. Ah, oh. oh, that it nothing happens because the breaker is off. Ooh. Let's try the fuse. The fuse is on. The inverter is on. Hey. There's been so much work done. This is like two or three days later, I don't even remember. So the sound system is set. Uh, we have an alarm. Hey. <laughs> Look at this tiny PI PIR there. That's so cool. Uh, there's one of them and the vibration sensor and there will be a window sensor here if some fucker tries to force this out wee 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 instant yeah so that's in uh, I've got uh, this is just the thing that I can show you now because the, the lights are in the cupboards uh, when I said I'm gonna pimp this out I meant I'm gonna pimp this out so there's a light for this cupboard here, an interior light, color changing. Another one here for the wardrobe, another one here for this cupboard, and one here for the gas section and stuff. I got these lights from Justine, thank you very much Justine. I did run the wire, the micro switch wire, from these taps. So it's joined there and there's a wire running to that box there. I will connect that one also today. Another thing that I need to do is put some Sika Flex where the cracks are on this shower tray. And hopefully by tonight I can test the hot water and the water system. I did buy I did buy some water barrels. I bought a 50 liter one but it's currently not fitting in here but I could just bring this box further and then that's gonna be here until then I'll use this for testing purposes bang and I'm not lying so both the pumps are connected now and if I did everything good you should hear a noise yep the loudest one is the main pump, but there's another pump in the barrel. Yeah, man. Let's try this thing. I'm gonna take this barrel, put some water in it. So for testing purposes, I have half of this barrel full. Wow, man. Turn this on, turn the gas on. So, so here we are after a bit of diagnosis diagnostics and some leaks and me finding out that there's a micro leak in this stupid sink right here I don't know how but it's a leak there so I have to put something there to stop the leak manage to get all of this wet and leak down to the floor I suspected the pump and the pump had nothing wrong with it. God damn it. Uh, so I've replaced the o ring in the pump with a bigger one and I've kind of cracked the pump. Uh, yeah. But check this out. So hot water, yeah. Starts the boiler. It's being. And, I don't know if you can see the steam, this is hot water here, man! Woo! I would test the sink also, but I have that stupid hole. I'm just gonna cover it with my finger. So, hot water. Boom! There's the hot water coming. Hey, it's hot! It's so hot. Holy shit! And you can add cold water if you want. Sweet. Sweet. 